वी आर विद बिग स्टीव आउटसाइड द सेंटियागो बर्ने बो द फर्स्ट लेग एंड थ्री थ्री what are your thoughts happy very happy very happy uh, i said you know we can, we'll take a draw we started the game so well early free kick uh, and then i thought history might repeat itself next minute bang bang two down yeah uh, two one down and then you're thinking right okay half time we we had a few problems we wasn't getting folded on the ball uh, early in harlem wasn't touching the ball we were making silly mistakes and then we started to grow into the game getting more comfortable and then Phil Foden what an equalizer you know what I mean 2-2 and then uh, Josco Guardiola with a great strike and then uh, I thought maybe we're going to hold on for the win great goal by uh, Valverde the volley and then uh, but we grew into the game as the game went on we grew into it the crowd we settled the crowd uh, down here and um, we're going back to Manchester happy the tone of his voice is telling the entire story I've got no voice I've got my voice is sore we were singing loud in there but you guys was uh, really loud the roof was on the heating was on you see the heating yeah, yeah. the heating was on yes unbelievable yeah it was good but um, no listen we're happy tonight we're happy very happy oh man we had like the probably like the disastrous like start we didn't expect that goal to go in like the first second minute concede that goal and like the morale went down but we showed character to come back to ice two goals and in the first half i thought we played better we were like dominant even though we went a goal behind but second half i think we just gave you guys a lot of space and when you give city space they use it like nasa or something i don't know what went wrong no you was right in the first half um you would have better side it was dangerous rodrigo vinicius junior there was always that counter attack on and i felt city's defense was a little shaky but we 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 didn't let our heads drop a lot of teams go 2-1 down in a burnabout and that's it's finished because i said if if it's 3-1 down yeah it's going to be a problem we could have made it 3-1 vinny had his chances we should have been uh, clinical enough but we we uh credit to man city we're a different team now we we come in here with confidence we've just scored three goals at the bernabeu we could have won the game we're going away 3-3 we're happy and um it's on us now this was your chance to get us you didn't do it now it's our chance to get you now we are real madrid it's our competition don't forget that even though you might be champions of europe but it's our competition but farooq what do you think what went wrong for uh, real madrid especially in the second half we were leading in the first half Actually I think it's just a lack of killers you know I feel like you know if you had like an early Ireland a Kylian Mbappe you know of Karim Benzema of 2021 I felt like you know the game would have gone definitely to 3-1 honestly you know but we had those chances you know even uh, you mentioned about Vinicius chance even Rodrigo had one you know we had the Bellingham situation as also like those are things that you know Steve is right about like you know we might come back to think about those chances and we might do out you know our chances but I felt you know City were really comfortable playing and you know considering that we were playing the champions of Europe I you know kind of feel like yeah we we held our own you know we could have gotten more and that's a testament to you know how well we played but yeah I feel like you know it's still all to play for and I think like you know we're going to go to City and it's going to be different you know it's not going to be like last year I, you know I I go into this game more to more confident you know we we haven't seen anything from Jude Bellingham honestly you know I feel like you know the the next leg you know going to Manchester you know it's going to be a time for him to showcase you know his talents you know in front of his fellow Englishmen so yeah man it's 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 a lot to look for to man and definitely a lot of a lot to look forward to but he said if we had haland we could have scored they had haland i think rudiger did a really good job two game to we don't play to his strengths anymore uh, at the minute we're not passing the ball to him uh, he must be frustrated we don't put any crosses in the ball um in into the box so if a haland at the minute he, he looks like a lonely frustrated figure but the rest of the boys are doing the business but i just want to mention to shimeni the tackle early doors credit to the referee because i thought that set the tone for the game i, I watched ancelotti and the coaching staff all jumping off the bench chasing the fourth official down jude you know jude uh, he's a fantastic player but he spent more time on the floor tonight he, you know we'll see at the etihad but farouk said it's not going to be the same but uh you've got a shot coming for you because we're ready again you are ready but you might be without phil foden he got off injured uh, scares you a little bit I think Kevin De Bruyne will be fit. He, he was on an illness tonight. Uh I think Kyle Walker will be back. I think Edison maybe in goal. So we should have everybody back there, but it, it's up to Pep. Listen, we don't panic now. We we a couple of years ago this Manchester City team would have panicked. As soon as you went 2-1 it'd be 4-1. Yeah. But now we're not panic and I just feel like I always said before on the preview if we can get a draw, maybe get beat 1-0, that I'm happy with that and and I'm happy. 3-3, fantastic game. 
great atmosphere, um, amazing. I loved it. I loved it. Loved it all. Especially the game was like, probably like one of the best first legs you could have. It's like a basketball game, action here and there. But what, what do you think? Where did Real Madrid lack? Do you think they were not clinical enough? They should have scored more, uh, but. It was it difficult because they didn't have a lot of connection in the final third. They were trying to break the city defense with that one slice pass across a defender. I feel that the uh, Tony Cruz was looking at Foden all first half, maybe making sure no one could get to Foden. Did a great job, but if you're looking to, to neutralize Foden, you're neutralizing yourself. Yeah. Um, but uh, I felt like Real Madrid could get a little bit of joy if they if they got them balls behind the Kanji. Remember, I said yeah, yeah. over the left back, over the right, right back. back yeah. They did it once, they scored, but then I feel like City was wa waiting for that. But I feel like Jack Grealish tonight, he played well, he got the ball, he got the fouls, he, he kept it Bernardo Silva, the energy in there, kept moving, moving. Rodri in the first half gave the ball away yeah, yeah. so many times. Yeah. But this is 65 games unbeaten for Rodri. Oh man, definitely. I think, yeah, Rodri was not uh, clinical enough, but uh, the very fact that Tony Cruz, what he said was correct, he was not playing his natural game and one player who came in in the second half Luka Modric Brilliant. did impact Brilliant. he created more got that energy going we could have we we're pushing for one more goal but I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it. we were giving Luka Modric so much space and he was he was dictating the play I don't think Pep, I Pep maybe just thought oh it's Modric uh, we don't have to worry there's not enough energy there but he, he was spraying the ball around he even I seen him win a header in the center of the park yeah. and I was like but listen, it's like you said, it's all to play for. I'm, 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 I'm excited, I'm, I'm happy, I'm going to back my team, but I'm not disrespectful to Real Madrid. It's Real Madrid and, um, you know, I'm just so looking forward to the game at the Etihad and hopefully we can get the job done. Definitely. And what we are hoping is we play like how Manchester City played at the Bernabeu. That's the only hope we have. What should be done, Farouk, uh, to, you know, basically not repeat what happened last year where should we go different yeah i mean as you just said basically you know it's just you know you have to go for it you know like if you're gonna sit deep and you know sit tight i mean like city have a lot of you know people who are gonna pick the lock it's kevin de bruyne it's phil ford and it's bernardo silva you know it's a grillish and so on and so forth we just cannot let what happened last year happen because last year you know although steve mentioned and all that i i personally felt like uh, we didn't play we literally had two lines of five defending in our box. You understand? This is we cannot repeat this. Uh, you know, when we go to the Etihad, we have to you know go for it. Obviously, not in like a gongo approach, but like you know, in a conservative way. You know, as Steve also mentioned again, we need to you know find a way to ping the balls down the wing through Rodrigo, Vinicius, Jude, you know, Valverde, and so on and so forth. We just need to go for it. We need to like you know be conservative, but we are certain you know with a limited way. Like we can't just go and you know sit deep and hope for you know just a counter to find something. No, like if we do that, we're just you know digging our own grave honestly I feel like you know we have to go for it in a certain sense and you can see how City were comfortable playing at the Bernabeu man like from the first minute man it was like it was, as you said you know it was like it was a home game for them you know and that's the thing you know like a testament to City as well you know like it's shown how much they've grown in this competition you know so we have to remind them that okay like yeah they might be European champions but we are the kings of Europe we are the kings of Europe, a lot of hope, a lot of energy and a second leg uh, awaiting for all of us. Uh, thank you Steve again for talking to us. Before you go again, your prediction for the second leg. We need goals from Vinny is what we want and Jude to step up. I'll give you the prediction uh, when we do the podcast on Let's Be Real next week. Okay, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, not, he's not acting as a spoil sport, not giving us a spoiler. You have to but wait, have to wait <laughs> and tune in to Let's Be Real TV. So you have to tune in. Exactly. People, Let's Be Real TV, best Real Madrid show out there, up and coming, great knowledge, good supporters. And I said it this today, on the, I said it on the comments, you know, these are real guys, they're out here. It's the end of the game, they're still here, they're getting content for you. Like, share, subscribe, Let's Be Real. And go follow me at Big Steve MCFC. Oh man, definitely guys, do give Big Steve a follow on his YouTube and Twitter, Instagram, the super fans of Man City and it was a pleasure having you, you. for the preview, all the content you did and for the post match, it was an honour, thank you thank so you. much and may the best team, which is Real Madrid, I repeat, win at the Etihad. <laughs> Come on, say. <laughs> Hala Madrid. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.